Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna do my empties video and it's been a really long time since I did this kind of video and I've been collecting all these products that I've been using for I don't know how long Okay, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible because the lighting is kind of going down because it's currently 4 o'clock right now so we're gonna make this very very quickly, okay? So I'm gonna start with makeup first and the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and um, if you follow me for a really long time you will know that I always always use this for my setting spray and I go through like bottles and bottles of this like non-stop because it's really good and it helps to keep my makeup in place all the time the next product I'm gonna talk about is the MAC Fix Plus and um, this is a oldie but a goldie I absolutely love this thing um, it's amazing when I want like uh, my eyeshadows to pop and give more pigmentation to it and I also can use this for a setting spray and it works just fine next product I'm gonna talk about is this Innisfree uh, what do you call this? translucent powder this one is a this one is the birthday um, collection like every year when you get your birthday yada 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 and then you receive your gifts right so yeah i have like a lot of these and i really like this as a translucent powder because it just makes my makeup look so flawless as you can see i've been having this makeup since like 11 30 and now it's like 4 30 and can you see my makeup is still there it's so amazing and what i like about this uh, powder is that it sits into the skin really well it and it doesn't make your pores appear big in fact it makes your pores look smaller and very smooth kind of thing so i'm a huge fan of this innisfree uh translucent powder and it's only 10 dollars so it's a good deal okay, the next thing that i'm going to talk about is this australis liquid stroke illuminating drops in the shade gold and i've been using this like non-stop i have to use this every single time uh, i put on my makeup right before i apply my powder highlighter because this thing is insanely like pigmented okay you just need like a little bit and you're good to go it's so good and um, especially if like i have shoots or anything like that i like to also apply this onto my body because it makes like the photos look really nice and your skin looks very glowy which is great so yeah this is 27.90 and yes i would definitely be repurchasing this this is an amazing product okay okay the next product that i'm gonna talk about is these uh eyebrow pencils this is like a long long time ago you know right now i don't even use eyebrow pencils this is like i don't know how long these are okay i've been keeping it to like make this video uh, but i have two kinds one is the nyx micro brow pencil and the other one is the sephora retractable brow pencil um the sephora one i am in the shade 02 nutmeg brown and the nyx one i'm in the shade brunette um in all honesty, I really like these two, but I would prefer the NYX, the NYX one because it's very fine. Uh, I feel like the Sephora one is more brown. My brows are very dark because of my hair. As you can see, my hair is very black. So I need something very, very dark. So yeah, uh, both work equally fine and uh, it's very, very thin in the pencil and it's very easy for you to draw. So yeah, they are great, but I'm currently not using any uh, brow pencil, so I don't <laughs> repurchase them anymore. Speaking of brow stuff, okay, let's keep talking about brows. So I have like two pomades here. One is the NYX Tame and Frame uh, Brow Pomade in black, and this one is the ColourPop Brow Pomade in black and brown. As you can tell, I like dark. Uh, pomades for my brows because my hair is very black so I need everything to blend and you know go well together so um, I finished both by the way bought both pomades but I would not repurchase the Colourpop one because I feel like it's too drying and it's I don't know I just don't like the consistency I feel like you have to work with it really quickly if not it's gonna dry up very very fast but nevertheless I still use it till the end because I'm not gonna waste my money okay I'm still gonna use this and make it work so yeah for the next one it's not bad but I feel like even though the shade says it's black it's not typically black it's more of like grayish black so yeah um, it's it's quite nice but 
again it dries out fast uh, just like the ColourPop one but the ColourPop one when it dries out it's very grainy you know it's like sand sand kind of feel so that's why I don't like it but uh, yeah will I repurchase any of these? no because they are not like my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, pomade that one cannot be any pomade that I've tried so far because um, that one is really amazing and it's wet but it's not too but it's not watery in that sense it just glides onto your brows very easily and I don't know it just makes filling in the brows so much easier so yeah okay the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is a uh, gel liner and the one that I always use is by Maybelline this this is one can you see it's like gone now because it's so old but uh, yeah um, when, it, when I do when I do do like a uh, like liner or anything I will always use this gel liner because I like it I don't typically go for liquid liner because I I don't know I just don't like it I feel like uh, for gel liner I have more uh, what do you call that more con more um, precision and like control I feel like I can do that and I feel like I can build it up whether I want it very thin very thick or however I, I want it so yeah I'm not trying to say that liquid doesn't do that but I prefer gel liner because it's like super quick and easy but um, yeah this thing is amazing and uh, for a higher end gel liner that is good is also by Ingwer. Ingwer is really amazing. So I'm moving on to black liner. This is liquid liner but honestly I have no idea what brand this is because it is gone but do I like this one? Not really because as you can see the felt tip is pretty thick and I feel like with thick uh, gel liners, it's very difficult to draw lah. So yeah, um, I'm not like a very liquid, uh, liquid uh, eyeliner kind of girl. More of like gel liners. So I just use it to not waste my money. So the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is concealers. You guys know my favorite concealer is from LA Girl. Da -da -da. I have like another three more of there which I'm almost done with. Okay, by the way, I go through this like crazy. So um, the shades that I typically go for is Pure Beige and Medium Beige. Pure Beige is more of my shade but Medium Beige is slightly darker but I like to mix these two together because I feel like it gives my... Uh, it gives like a perfect shade for me. So yeah, and these concealers are amazing. I highly recommend it to anyone and I literally recommend it to all my friends, okay? If you're watching this, I know you got them in your room right now. I always, always go back to this because the coverage is amazing and it is not too thick and it's not drying at all. And the coverage is amazing, okay, for like concealer. Sometimes I don't even bother to use foundation. I'll just like mix these two colors together and then there you go foundation style okay i have like one two three four five six seven eight i have eight mascaras to talk about so we have to go through this very quickly okay so the first one that i'm gonna talk about is uh this one i think this is like so old eh? can you see how old this is this is the revlon Bro luscious Foundation mascara of course gotta get the black one um and did I like this? I don't really remember but look at one, it's so big but I think I do lah because I like wands that are big so like it really gets to my lashes but uh, they don't they don't really sell this so no point talking about it right the next one is uh, Maybelline this is the Magnum Volume Express Waterproof Mascara um, I don't really like this one because I feel like it doesn't do anything to my lashes yeah, I don't like it. I don't even like the one. It's insane. But uh, I'm done using it and yeah, I'm not gonna repurchase it. I don't think they sell it anymore. Yeah, the next one is the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. This is not bad actually. Uh, I didn't hate it though, but it's really not bad. The one is quite great also. So yeah, but I'm not sure if they still sell it. Next one is my favorite. This is the Rocket. Uh, Volume Express Mascara. Okay, this is the Maybelline, the very popular one, and I love this one because it's so good for the brows. Eh, for the brows, no, for the eyelashes. See, guys, I'm so tired. I've been running errands with shaking like since morning. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this mascara, and I would purchase it though. But I'm 
I'm not very picky with my mascara as long as it does the job and as long as it gives me uh, volume to my lashes, that's great. So yeah, this mascara is amazing. I love it. Next mascara is uh, by L'Oreal. This is the Curl Impact Collagen Mascara. Um, I'm not really like a big fan of this mascara, honestly. I just use it to finish it up. Um, but yeah, not really a big fan because I just, I just feel like it doesn't really do anything. Okay, so the next one is by Benefit. And uh, this is my first Benefit mascara and I love this mascara to death. Okay, this is their real mascara and it's literally the name, okay, their real mascara. And this mascara is amazing. Will I repurchase this? Yes, when I do have the money. Okay, because this is, uh, this needs to save money. But this mascara is amazing and I really like the one. As you can see, they have like a little, they have like on the top here, they even have like bits. So you can really get into your inner corners and stuff which is amazing and this mascara is one of the popular ones uh, before and it's so great. Next one is by Essence and this is Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Mascara. If you're looking for more of like a um, budget kind of mascara but works well, I really like this one but this one is not waterproof one, they have another one which is the waterproof version. So you guys can get that one. And this is only like what? $4 if I'm not wrong? Which is great. I love this one. Okay. Next one is uh, Benefit Roller Lash. This is the mini size. I just tried the sample. Uh, this is like so long ago. But this is also another favorite because I really like the wand. It's very like, they have like little bristles here and then a thicker one at the top. So what I like about this is that it really gets into my lashes and I have very tiny lashes so this really helps with them. So yeah, that's it for the makeup bits. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> so this is the Living Proof No Freeze uh, Shampoo. As you can see, they actually cross out the freeze, the word freeze, this means no freeze shampoo. And if you know me, then you will know that uh, I have very dry pores easy hair and um, because I have very like thick thick um, coarse dry frizzy curly wavy hair so my hair is like a jungle basically <laughs> okay so I really like this I this is actually their travel size and it's I tell you it's amazing because it really tames down my hair so so well and I did um, after this I actually did repurchase um, the full size version and, and it's in my shower by the way and I'm almost done with that by the way it's so good so yeah amazing if you have frizzy hair like me and you want to try out this get the living proof one because it's amazing but one thing I would say is that it's definitely pricey for a hair shampoo but let me but let me tell you it works okay it really really works and it's amazing because I've been trying to find like a proper shampoo that really helps to tame my hair and this is the one. This one is a shower gel. I'm finally done with this after like so long. Um, this is actually a gift from my friend uh, Akila. She got this for me for my birthday and uh, the reason why she got this for me because this, because of the smell and it's very moisturizing and uh, I love anything moisturizing for the body and uh, it smells really really nice like <sighs> it smells so calming. I need to ask her again you know like where she buy this if I remember to ask her. <laughs> but yeah I really like this. This is in Mask Blossom and it's so nice. It's just very moisturizing lah. So once you rinse it off, your skin just feels really soft and nice and I'm just ready for bed, okay? Next, I'm gonna talk about body lotion. Okay, you guys know that I love to have my body looking very greasy. Not like <laughs> greasy, like stinky, but more of like healthy, glowy kind of thing. So this is another uh, body moisturizer and this is by Jergens. And this is a hydrating coconut coconut moisturizing uh, body lotion and this helps to moisturize and soften the skin and it has coconut oil and ultra ultra hydrating coconut water and this is for dry skin and, and typically because I have dry skin and 
I don't know, when it comes to my body right, I have dry skin. When it comes to my face, I have like combination skin. So like, sometimes I'm a bit like confused now. But this is not like very thick in consistency. This is so light and it's not sticky at all. It's amazing. Me and my mom love this so, so much. And I love anything that has coconut um, and honey inside the body lotion. Anything for me. Next, um, body uh, lotion is by The Body Shop. This one is the almond milk and honey for sensitive dry skin soothing and restoring body lotion and it's lightweight and yes it is very lightweight the smell oh my god the smell is so nice it smells like honey and lemon and milk it's it's so delicious okay and it sinks into the skin really really nicely and it's so so hydrating and i honestly need to get a new one because i think i'm done with another one i have another lotion <laughs> i try like different kinds of lotion uh, because i like anything that stays dry skin because i feel like it really helps to moisturize the skin but it's what i like about this is that it's not thick because we're living in singapore come on let's be real it's so humid it's so hot and i don't want anything like sticky or very heavy onto my skin so this is just perfect for the body it's also a bond butter but this is from soap and glory this is their little travel size kind of thing and this is the daily smooth amazingly effective dry skin formula body butter with rose hip seed oil and cocoa butter i'm not sure if they still have it right now in sephora or not but i really like this but this is uh, more of a thicker consistency more of a thicker side so i think this is typically very uh effective for nighttime and especially when the weather gets uh, very cold usually at the end of the year it starts to rain cold and yada 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 have night conditions and stuff like that my skin will become even more drier and skinny like a reptile so this probably helps a hand cream and one hand cream that i really love is by uh, soap and glory this is their mini size as well because i feel like hand cream i don't need like a big uh, big cute or anything i just need like a small one it's fine so this is the hand food hand food <laughs> since i'm so tired hand food hydrating hand cream okay this has shea butter and macadamia oil and marshmallows it smells really good right and it smells really really good did i say it smells really good yeah i mean sounds really good and it does smells really good oh my god i'm so tired but uh yeah uh, I really like this hand cream. It's not very sticky or like thick or anything like that and um, It's just really nice for your hands and I typically have very dry hands anyways So yeah, it's great. This is a deodorant by Lady Speedstick and I am already done with my second one. I have no idea where's my second one So yeah, but I'm already on my third one. So that says a lot right about deodorant so yeah this deodorant is absolutely amazing if you're like me and you aspire a lot and you're always outdoor moving about and yada 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 but at the end of the day you want to smell good this deodorant is amazing okay they have different kinds of scent um this one is in wild freesia but they have other scents as well so you guys can go and like choose the one that you like lah but uh, I feel like this is amazing and it doesn't it's by the end of the day I'm still dry at my underarms which is great so uh, I got you girl okay this is so so amazing and shout out to my friend Namira for Namira and her fiance uh, which is also my friend Sas um, for recommending this uh, lady sweet steak deodorant because people like talking about it and then like I was like oh my god I need to get it like pronto so I immediately like whatever okay like let me know what deodorant did you use the other time we're talking about it with us and then she told me so yeah I immediately got it and since then I never change any deodorant okay amazing so this one used to be like a very hype thing uh way back in like i don't know 2016 or something like that and um it's mm, what i say that it makes a difference not really but it's very very nice after like you you are done cleansing your skin and then you just spritz it all over your face it's so like refreshing 
sometimes I would just like spritz it on my face when it's such a hot day and things like that but uh, yeah it's very cooling and soothing to the skin but um, I'm not right now I'm not like into this kind of things anymore this was like I need to get it and it's getting it, get it because it's so so nice uh, for such a hot day and stuff it just makes the skin feels cool uh, basically daily moisturizers okay because I have a few here uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Moisturizer Daily Nourishing Moisturizer with SPF uh, 30 It has vitamins A, C and E Do you guys hear like a did -did 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 -did? It's because I have an acne over there and my dad just opened the door so it's kind of like noisy so just like you know it okay So yeah, um, I am such a big fan of Aveeno uh, moisturizing products on the, on the skin because I feel like it's so I don't know, I feel like my skin really works well with Aveeno products and uh, it's really really nice and um, I didn't break out anything like that in school like it and it sinks into my skin really well and uh, yeah, I absolutely love that but the thing is that it's really hard to find uh, Aveeno products in Singapore because usually I will only see like body um, stuff related but not so much of like skincare so yeah um, but right now, I'm currently using uh, Innisfree uh, sunscreens and uh, I love them. Uh, before they have this one, which is the 5 free one. What is this? 5 free one long lasting something. This is the Eco Safety Perfect Sunblock with sunflower oil and green tea with SPF 50. Uh, and then they have like this kind. But I'm not very picky as long as it's SPF 50 and uh, it says that it's a protection screen and that's all I need. I mean protection cream, that's all I need. So yeah, I'm not very picky when it comes to my sunscreen because I feel like Innisfree sunscreens are very great for the skin and it's uh, very lightweight and it gives a little tint to my skin but not so much, not like a white cast or anything like that. So I'm gonna talk about this um, lotion right here. This is the, the Body Shop Tea Tree Blem Blemish Fade Night Lotion suitable for blemished skin and uh, I go through this before because at the point of time I was breaking out really bad and this somehow helps to like cool down my skin a little bit which is great so yeah a really nice product something that I'm very focused to uh, continuously repurchase it again and again. Next, we are going to talk about this cold cream, cold cream cleanser uh, by Pons and uh, it's a moisturizing deep cleanser and makeup remover it's amazing um, I recommend it to my friend and uh, even I am using it because it's amazing and it's so easy to just remove your makeup so basically you just apply this whole cream onto your, onto your dry makeup face like this right now and then like you just massage it all over and then you just rinse it can wipe it whatever you want you can wipe it with a, a hot towel first and then after that you rinse it again and you're done and uh, if you want to follow up with another uh, cleansing step you can go ahead and uh, yeah, I actually really really like this one my mom also really likes it and uh, I got it from her so yeah um, but right now I'm currently using the Innisfree green tea cleansing oil because I really like that one and it's super quick because it's more of a pump not like in a tub but uh, I do still have this whole thing inside my room. I do use it once in a while. If I run out of my cleansing oil, I will use that one. I no longer use any uh, makeup wipes anymore because see, it's not very good to like tug on your skin and pull it and wipe it around all the time. So that's why I use a cleansing oil or a cleansing cream. Next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Snail White uh, Moisture Facial Cream. This was like a huge hype in the social media in the beauty social media kind of thing and uh, I I actually purchased this because I wanted to see if it does any wonders to my skin because at the point of time I was freaking out so bad and it says that it really helps with acne prone skin so and it helps to like brighten the skin and your scars or something like that and I did a review on it and I really like it because it really does uh, wonders to my skin and then it was great but I didn't repurchase it lah because I was too lazy to this one right here um, this is the Ocean Salt by Lush by the way it's the face and body scrub uh, scrub 
so you can use this for uh, your body or you can use this for your face and uh, if you ask me what facial scrub I use this is the one and this is the only one that I use for my face because uh, I don't use any other facial scrubs because they tend to break me out all the time especially the St. Ives uh, apricot facial scrub that a lot of people really love I can't use that one I break out like immediately so this is the only like very um, softer version even though it's ocean salt and it's quite like ritzy and stuff but it's not rough I'm not gonna like scrub my face too hard lah but yeah it's very very nice for my skin and it's great it's a great great scrub so if you're looking for a great scrub and has natural ingredients on it then this is the one you guys realize I use a lot of natural ingredient stuff because yeah I just typically like like that lah my pixie glow tonic okay I have four of them two big ones and two small ones when I have the money to splurge I will get the big one if not since on budget we get the small one but um yeah as you can tell, I really really love my Pixie Glow Tonics because it is amazing. It's such an amazing toner. It's so simple and it has such a just like little amounts of like ingredient. It only has like what? Let me read it to you, okay? It has 5% glycolic acid. It's an exfoliating toner uh, and it's freaking amazing because it's so gentle and it exfoliates and cleans the skin at the same time and it also removes the dead skin cells which is great and uh, yeah I really like this toner because it's the one that really works really well I'm currently not using any toner right now because my I think my skin was kind of like reacting to a skincare product but I'm not sure what so I kind of like stopped for a little while but will I go back to this yes because I feel like I have no issues with the pixie glow sonic toner and it will never ever ever fail me. This is the Kiehl's uh, Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I have two tubs here. Currently, I'm not using these two. Currently, I'm using um, the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. I went back to that one. I don't know. It's either I go back to that or I go back to this. And it works the same. And it's such an amazing eye cream. I love it. This one in particular, it's more of a thicker side, thicker consistency but it's great because it's gonna hydrate your eyes okay and it's amazing and if uh, i don't know it's good for like anti-aging or something like that so it's great face cream um and these are the eat cosmetics confidence in a cream it's for all skin types and it's a moisturizing super cream and it's for like anti-aging armor regenerative concentrate la, 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 la. okay so basically this thing is uh, amazing number one because it's so moisturizing and it's great because my skin during nighttime is so so dry and by the time I wake up the next day it's so scaly like a reptile so at night I really have to hydrate my skin very well uh, just so it doesn't lose its moisture so yeah um, although it's easier to use it uh, in the morning and evening I only use it uh, for night times and uh, since it has anti-aging properties inside uh, I usually like to apply my skincare like upwards apply the cream upwards so you know I don't have all these uh, what you call this all these uh, skin like sagging down okay even though I'm 23 I'm trying to maintain my skin okay these are like $72 I think it's definitely a splurge but it lasts for a very very long time so will I repurchase this definitely but currently right now I'm not using this moisturizer my skincare game by the way has changed like cray cray okay it's so different now so I will definitely be doing a updated skincare routine but not right now because I am still trying to get products right to make sure that my skin is really 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 loving the products okay before I do an updated skincare routine because I know it's been a really long time acne treatment thing and this is the Mario Badescu drying lotion I have like three three bottles by the way how do I show yeah I have three bottles and they are all empty and dry and let me tell you this thing is amazing okay it dries out your acne like insane 
like it's so quick and it has uh, I know I talk about it all the time it has like a two solution kind of thing so the pink solution is usually at the bottom so what you do is you just take a q-tip place it inside and then dip it into the pink solution and then take take out the q-tip and then just apply to your to those like acne areas that's it go to bed next day wash it off and it's good um, this one you can get it at Sephora and it's $36 it's definitely pricey but it works like it works if you're looking for a strong one to like kill your acne go get this one product I'm gonna talk about is something that I haven't talked about yet on my channel and this is the Ina serum and I have like four empty ones right now uh, yeah and this is by NSA uh, View. You can find them on Instagram. And this is a this is by a Malaysian artist. And uh, I know this product because of Shikin. And then she recommended it to me. And then I started using it, and it's uh, amazing. And uh, yeah, it really helps to calm down my acne a lot. And they use natural ingredients in that, which is great. But I stopped using it right now because. This needs to calm down the skin uh, and like trying to find what products that is reacting to my skin. So yeah, but I am still using the cleanser. I started using the cleanser a month ago and I'm still loving it because it's so great and um, it's very mild to the skin and they again use natural ingredients which I love. I love anything that has natural ingredients for skin. I feel like it's great it's not like too harmful or anything like that but one thing I wish though is that they would make this bottle a little bit bigger because this one bottle can last you for just like a month done done the hub is gone these are masks by the way and this is the glam glow youth matte uh, tin tinkle exfoliate treatment this is the black one this thing is so powerful I tell you you just put it on your whole face and you're gonna be like Ugh. because the first time when I tried this I was like oh my god what is going on to my skin because it's like you can feel like it's really like working you know and it's insane but did I love this yes I do <laughs> because it's amazing and I was breaking out pretty bad so I tried this one but then the one that really like caught my eye the most is the white one which is the glam go super matte clearing treatment and I have the big bottle one and I have a small one. The big one is obviously on the pricier side because it's so expensive. But then it lasts for a really long time. Um, but if I'm like on a budget, I'll get like a small one. But I really like the white one as referred to the black one because um, this one really helps to clear uh, my acne most of the time. Uh, when I was using the Ina serum, I also use this one regularly because this really really helps. And as you can see. I am done with this okay and I am very proud of it because it's so so good to the skin if you have like acne or even if you don't have acne you have like congested skin or like your skin is like just feeling like so ugh, there's like so much dirt inside oh yada 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 and you need something that's gonna suck it all up and like clean it really well honey this is the one okay this is so so amazing it is pricey but it works sometimes if i run out of my acne uh, treatment i will just take a q-tip apply this and just like spot treat done go to bed next day wash it off and it's all good this origins uh, make a difference last rejuvenating serum is what it looks like i read mm, is this like a mini size do i love it yes i do because it's very calming to the skin and uh, I don't know I just really like the make a difference plus range because I feel like it's very soothing and nice and moisturizing next I'm gonna talk about skin ceticals uh, advanced pigment corrector and uh, I saw this from Dazzy Perkins skincare video like ages ago and she talked about this so I went on a hunt on like carousel or something like years back to like find this and I did and this is a it is quite amazing for uh, dark spots and it's great so yeah but you it's very hard to find skin ceticals in singapore i don't know where to find it but if you guys know where please let me know last product is um, by new red and this is the complete reform by 
a complete reform with glycoforming complex. This is the each reform one. And this is so good. This is so good for like anti-aging or like if you have uh, lines on your skin or like pores or anything like that. I feel like this thing is it's like primer for the skin but like skincare for me but you know you know what i'm saying but this is so good and they don't even sell this in the sephora okay in singapore <laughs> so if you guys know where to get this please let me know because i again i know this product from uh desi perkins and also uh makeup Sheila. if i'm not wrong I, I think she also used this and it's so good it really like just transforms your skin and my skin was looking very very good because of this product like ages ago but i can't find this anymore so i'm like really stressed lah where to get this but if you guys know where to get this please do let me know because i'm really on the hunt to get this and i know it's quite on the pricey side but who cares when it comes to skincare right just splurge it and done with this empty video i know it's a long ass video i'm gonna have a great time editing this by the way but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been around it's been a really long day and i hope you yeah and i hope like this video kind of like helps you guys in a way and um yeah give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it let me know if uh you have any questions regarding any of the products that i talked about and um october is coming really soon in fact october is just tomorrow monday so yeah uh which means halloween is coming and you can tell halloween tutorials are coming as well so do let me know if you guys have any halloween ideas uh to let me know you know because i'm con currently don't have the time to find ideas but if you do have please let me know because i need to do a uh, halloween makeup tutorials like pronto at least like two because um this one is quite busy for me when it comes to like work stuff so i think i can just squeeze in about two and um yeah but yeah do let me know and uh yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next one bye